Okay, so the first obvious question is, what is test-driven development? What's TDD? What's it about? Well, TDD is a software development process, and it's one based on the idea of rapid feedback of a repeated, very short development cycle, whereby instead of writing the application code first and then coming on to, to test it, the situation is reversed. So the, the tests are written before the application code. And we'll, we'll come on to look at that cycle in a little more detail shortly. But first I want to talk a bit about the, the background of TDD and about some common areas of confusion around what TDD is really about. But first, a bit about the, the background. So test-driven development has been around for many years, but it was really made popular by a guy called Kent Beck as part of his work on his extreme programming methodology in the 1990s. Now, extreme programming, you may have heard of, is a, a software development methodology, and it's an agile methodology. So it's about improving the software quality and improving responsiveness to changing requirements. So we're talking about agile development, which is something that most software companies now will either be doing or will be certainly be aiming towards at least. And we're also talking about software quality and about writing tests. So despite TDD being around for as many years as it has been, there is still quite common to find an element of confusion when talking to teams about the test processes they're following and about what TDD is. And Indeed, many people will say they're following TDD when they're really doing something quite different. Talking to a lot of teams about TDD, they'll just say, well, it's about a bunch of tests, right? It's about producing tests for all of our application, about having good test coverage, perhaps. But as we said before, TDD is about a very specific uh, development process and is about writing those tests before the application code. So looking at the, the tests that are created with TDD and looking at the types of tests that you could create when wanting to test your, your software. There are many different types of tests which could operate at different levels. So you can get classical unit tests, which would typically be testing just a single class at a time, right the way up to a higher level integration tests or acceptance tests, which will be testing all of or as much of the system as possible with each test. You also see people developing tests that are a level in between those two, so developing tests for individual components, for instance, or perhaps testing a couple of components wired together to make sure they behave correctly, to make sure they interact correctly. Now, these are all good types of tests to be creating, all, all valid and useful types of tests. But when we're talking about TDD, we're talking about writing a test before the application code, and we're talking about developing both the the test code and the application code together, incrementally. So typically with TDD, the types of tests you'll, you'll be creating are going to be at the lower end of the spectrum, more towards the, the unit test level. You may be testing a few classes together, but it will certainly be towards the lower end of that spectrum anyway, nothing towards the, the integration test level anyway. That's not to say you won't be creating all of these other types of tests, but you'll be creating those tests outside of this TDD practice. Okay, so let's look at, look at what this TDD cycle looks like. What does this test-driven cycle look like? 